Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will discuss about the deletion operations in the linked list. And uh, the deletion operations that we need to discuss are the deletion from the beginning, the deletion from the mid, or deletion from any position, and the deletion from the end. Now suppose a linked list is given to us. And we want to delete the first node from the linked list. Now for deletion of the first node, we must have the information about the address of the first node that is start here. Okay, so the operation that we are carrying out is the delete beginning operation in which the address of the first node is given, and we have to delete that node. So, for deletion of this node, what we need to do this node will be deleted and after the deletion of this node the new first node will be this one second node will become the new first node so the start should shift to the second node okay now let's say for deletion of this i'm considering that this node has an address p so p is equals to start start is also keeping the address of first node so to the p P is a temporary variable taken from our side, which is keeping the address of the first node. Now what we are going to do, we are going to shift this start to second node. So how can that be done? Either you can write start equals to P dot next. Because if this node is P, the next field will contain the address of this node. So once we have the address of this node, which is P dot next. I can assign start here. It means start will keep the address of this node. So start equals to p dot next, or even you can say that start equals to start dot next. Both will work. Okay. Now, if you have shifted this start here to the second node, this node is of no use for us. We will have to destroy the memory taken by this. But before that. We can save the information stored there in this node by p dot info. The information of this node is stored in some x variable. Let's say there is a function free node, and if we call this function, this will destroy the memory occupied by this node p. And then finally, we will return this x information so for every deletion whatever data has been deleted that needs to be returned so once again let us repeat we have taken this node as p we have taken the address of this node in some p variable and then after the deletion of the first node start will shift to the second node for this start equals to p dot next because this node is containing the address of next node so start has been shifted to this node after this this node is of no use for us so information of this node is stored in some x variable x equals to p dot info this node has been freed by calling the function free node p and then the information which was stored in x variable is returned to the calling function okay now this deletion is possible only if start is not null it means the linked list is containing some nodes let's say the linked list does not contain any node in that case, the deletion will not be possible. So everything that we have performed is possible only if the start is not null. Okay, so if start is not null, then everything written here will be performed. But if a start is not null, then we will just display the message that deletion is not possible. So void deletion. So deletion will not be possible in case the linked list does not contain any node. So this is the complete definition of the delete beginning function. Okay. Now let us write the delete after function. So what will the delete after function do? Delete after function will delete a node after the given node. After the given node, it will delete a node. So suppose we have the link list. So 
fine let's say this is the link list and in this link list the address of this node is a start but we do not know this because we have the only information about a node which has an address p so if we have to remove a node after the node p so now if i have if i have to remove the node after this node after this p node then let us consider that this node has an address q so how can that be done q equals to p dot next the next field of the p node is containing the address of the next node so i have stored that address in q okay now what we have to delete we have to remove the q node for deletion of the q node what we need to do we need to set the next field of p to point at this node okay since this node will be deleted the link between this node and this node will be broken so just to establish that link we will step just to establish that link what we will do we will take the address we will take the next field of this and we'll assign the address of this node to the next field of this okay so what we're going to do we're saying that the next field of p node will contain the address of this node and address of this node is q dot next okay if this node is q the next field of this will contain the address of this node so this node has an address q dot next so p dot next means the next field of this node will contain the address of this node after this this q node is of no use for us since this q node is of no use for us what we will do we will store the information of this q node in some x variable after this we will remove this node by calling the function free node and we will return the information content of this node which is x fine so this will work only if this q node exists let's say the q node does not exist it means when will the q node not exist okay when will the q node not exist when the next field of p is null or you can you can say that if this is the linear link list if the next field of this node is null it means this is the last node so if this there is no node after this you since we are performing the delete after operation there is no node after this because its next next field is null so deletion will not be possible okay there is one more exception if this node itself is null it means this node does not exist so there is no question of deleting the node after this so we need to check these two conditions in the beginning that these operations will be performed only if p is not null and p dot next is not null neither p is null nor the next of that node is null then only these things will be performed otherwise if p is null or next of p is null then the deletion will not be possible so we will display the information write void deletion it means the deletion operation is not possible so this is the delete after algorithm fine so this is the delete after operation now let us try to write the delete end operation so what will happen in the delete end operation we will delete the node <coughs> which is the last node in the link list so for doing that let us first draw the diagram and with the help of the diagram we shall understand suppose this is the link list and in this link list we want to delete the last node so whatever information we have is the information of the first node only that is the address of the first node so this is the delete end operation and in this operation only thing given to us is the address of the first node so for deleting the last node i need to reach to the last node okay and we already know that uh, by traversing i can reach till the last node okay so i can reach till the last node by doing the traversal 
so i will find out a node which uh, for which the next field is null that will be the last node so this node for this node the next field is not null for this node next field is not null for this node next field is not null for this node next field is not null and uh, this for this node next field is null so we can stop here so let us start traversing p equals to start okay then while p dot next is not null i will traverse this linked list so i have considered that this node is p and i will reach to the last node which has the next field as null so p equals to p dot next so this node does not have the next field as null so i will shift to this this node does not have next field as null i will shift to this this node has uh, next field as null i will stop fine so now i have to delete this node but before deletion of this node what we do what do we need to do is that the next field of this node is required to be set as null because after the deletion of this node the new last node is this one and the identification of the last node is that its next field is null it means i must have the information of this node also okay so i must have the address of this node so while doing the traversal all, uh, traversal only what we will do we will store the address of the previous node also so let us say there is a queue which is initialized to null and q is always the predecessor of p if p is here q is null if p will be at the second node q will be at the first node if p will be at the third node q will be at the second node if p is at the last node q will be at the second last node so how can that be done so before moving to the next node q is assigned to the to the previously where uh, q is assigned to the node where p was earlier okay so let's see p is here and q is null when q is at p is advancing to this node before that q is assigned to this node so now p is at second node and q is at first node after this q is q q is assigned to here and p is advanced to the next node so p is at the third node and q is at the second node after this q is advanced to here and p is advanced to the next node so this is the last node and q is at the second last node so once we have the information about the second last node we can perform the deletion how can the deletion be performed we have to delete the p node so information of the p node is stored in some x variable then this node can be deleted by calling the free node function and after this the information can be returned okay now one one thing more is required to be done q is the new last node so the next field of q is required to be set as null so q dot next is required to be set as null please make sure that these things are performed after this loop so this loop is doing just the traversal after the traversal is done we are performing all these operations and we are considering that everything is fine then only we have performed this what could be the exceptional condition let's say let's say if we are uh, the linked list is null let's say so if linked list is null the deletion will not be possible so let's say we are writing the condition here if start is equals to null then we will write the information or we will write the message that deletion is not possible okay otherwise everything what we have written will be performed now there is one more exceptional condition let's say the linked list contains only one node okay the linked list contain only one node so after the deletion of this node or oh, this is the first node and this is the last node so after the deletion of this node start should be set to null okay after the deletion of this node start should be set to null now see we have what we have done here q dot next is equals to null so q dot next equals to null should be done only if we have two or more than two nodes let's say this is q and this is p after deleting this node the next field of this can be set to null 
but let's say we have only single node so there is no point of or uh, there is no question of uh, doing because uh, the q dot next equals to null because after the deletion of this node q will be null because q remained null so since q is remaining null there is no question of uh, pointing to the next field of this so it means that we are removing this from here and writing a condition if q is equals to null if q remains null that means the linkless had only one node sorry q is not equal to null if q is not null it means linkless has more than two nodes two or more than two nodes so if we have two or more, more than two nodes and q is pointing at a valid node then everything like this will be performed it means q dot next is equals to null but otherwise otherwise means q is null so if q is null that means while doing the traversal we did not progress to the uh, sorry q did not progress let's once again see with an example what, what actually has happened let's say this is the only node so p will be here and q will be null okay so when we are doing the traversal the condition of the traversal is while p dot next is not null we are progressing further but the next node of this is null next field of this node is null so we will stop here only so since we are stopping here only the q will be null since q will be null it means the link list is only is has only single node so after the deletion of this node the start pointer should be set to null because this the, the one and only node has got deleted so in the else condition we will write start is equals to null okay so this is the algorithm for deletion delete and fine now uh, we ha we already have these uh, information about the how to write the delete beginning for how to write the delete after function and how to write the delete end function so now let us try to write a special function let's say we have a linked list in which there are several nodes which can contain the information x okay this node has x information this node has x information this has a this has b this has x and let's say this is also x so uh, we have to remove or we have to delete every node which has information x so what information is given to us is the about start only so we have to write a special function which is deletion of a specific node deletion of specific information let's say so the address of first node is start and the information is given as x so now you can see that there are some nodes which can contains information x so it may be first node or it may be a node in between or it may be a node in the end okay now so to understand this let's once again see the delete end function now suppose this node has next field is null so we have a concept of uh, taking two pointers p and q and q is the predecessor of p so when we're moving what we can say that p is here and q is here okay after the traversal p will be here and q will be here so what uh, uh, we used to do we used to say that the information of x was stored in x variable information of p is stored in x variable then the we used to free this function uh, sorry free this node p then we used to return the information x okay now we need to we used to do one thing more that q dot next is equals to null okay now suppose we have to perform the delete after q so for doing the delete after q what we used to do we were taking this this as p okay and then what we used to say that 
q dot next is equals to p dot next so q dot next is equals to p dot next it means p dot next is null so q dot next will all will automatically be set as null so for doing the delete after what we delete after q the q dot next is set as p dot next rest everything will be fine uh, same x equals to p dot info free node p return x okay so you can see that instead of writing the delete in the end with the first nodes first nodes address we can also say that this is working as with the help of the delete after now you see come back to this position the come back to this question we are taking q as as the null and p at the first node just as we take took it here so p at the first node and q is null and we will be traversing with the help of this p and every p node which has the information x we will delete that node okay so for doing this we have set as p equals to start and q is equals to null p equals to start and q equals to null q will always be the predecessor of p fine now what we are going to do we will traverse this linked list while p is not null okay while p is not null we will traverse this linked list so our target node is the node which has the information x so if p dot info is equals to x it means this is the target node and we need to delete this node so for deleting this node we have the functions to perform okay now let's see that uh, uh, let's say the p is here and we have to delete this node so if p is here at the first node q will be null so if q is null it means we have to delete the first node okay so if q is null it means we have to delete the first node now if you are deleting the first node p was keeping the address of first node and p is the only thing with which we are going to traverse so before deleting this node we will advance this p to point to the second node such that the address that p contains is preserved okay so what we are going to do we go are going to check if q is null if q is null that means this is the first node which is to be deleted so we will call the function delete beginning with start okay let's say this node has got deleted and p is here how can p be here before deletion we have advanced the p to point to the next node now let's say this node has got deleted so this node has got deleted but q is still null we once again observe that this node has information x the p node has information x so p is advanced to the next node it means p comes here and then we again see if q is null we will delete beginning so it's here p is q is null so we will perform the delete beginning operation so this node has got deleted now p is at this node p is at this node but the information of this node is not x so it means this is not the target node so if this is not the target node i will have to move to the next node so before moving to to the next node q will come here and p will come here okay so if p dot info is not x it means this is else part p dot information is not x in that case what it will do q will advance to the node where p was earlier and p will be shifted to the next node now let's see this node this node also does not contain the information x so for this q will come here and p will progress to this node now you see that this node contains information x but this is not the first node because q is at the valid node if q were null then we can assume that the uh, the in the p node is the first node so now this node has x information and q is not null it means it is a node somewhere in between so that's why we will delete this node but before the deletion of this node p will be advanced to the next node such that the p contains the valid address next time and then we can perform the delete after q operation because this node is after this q node so we will perform the delete after q and this node will be deleted
now you see the information of p node is x but and we have advanced this p to the next node but q is not null so if q is not null it means we are somewhere in between so in that case the delete after q operation will be performed okay now once again see that q is here and p is here this node contains the information x so p will be advanced to the next node once you do that p equals to p dot next the next field of this node is null so p will contain null anyways q is not null this is the target node which has the information x but q is not null so the node after this will be deleted so this node after this node there is this this node okay so this node will be deleted and for deletion of this node we will call the function delete after okay now coming back to the loop loop condition p has become null so we can stop fine so if you just summarize this what was what has happened that we are traversing this linked list until the p is not null if the information of p is x it means this is the target node to be deleted and uh, for deletion of the target node we first progress p to point to the next node and then we try to find out if the delete if the node to be deleted is the uh, first node or any other node so if it is the first node we will call the function delete beginning okay how did we identify that if this is the first node if q is null it means the uh, the node to be deleted is the first node and if it is not the first node we will call the we in that case q will be pointing at some valid node and hence we will call the function delete after so this way we can write this function so this is the algorithm so let me write a keyword algorithm here i begin here and end here okay so this is the complete function for deletion of a specific information from the given linked list Thank you.